Hello everyone and welcome to this new video today. This is the part 2 of how to make a Geometry Dash game in Scratch. Uh, so the first part got over 600 views and it's one of my most popular videos. So I decided to create the second part. So this is what we built in the last part. So our cube can jump when we click with our mouse and when we hit the ground we stop falling. So that's really good and now here i can go into my project this is now geometry dash part two all right so now first of all we want our cube to jump only when we are touching ground so what we're going to do is here check when we jump. So uh, actually, I'm just going to put here and end operator with this. So this is our first condition. And the second condition is that we are touching the ground. So if we are touching, uh, I mean, select color. Now we are going to select, select uh, this white color here nice all right so now let's try this out and now why do uh, why can't we jump it's really simple because here uh, we are repeating this until we are not uh, anymore touching the ground so actually here we are one uh, y position over the ground so what we're going to do is at the end here change our y position by a uh, negative one i'm sorry one by negative one so now as you see we can jump only when we are touching the ground great so now we don't actually need this and i'm just going to put this like this so now it's like in real geometry dash we can just hold and we jump forever but we need to jump a little bit higher in geometry dash so i'm going to put something like 30 here let's test it out all right that jump is much better now maybe just 14 great all right so now we want our cube to rotate when you jump just as in geometry dash. So what we are going to do here at the start, we are going to point in direction 90. So this is this direction we are now pointing. So now go to this part of the code. And now we are going to repeat until have this repeat until block in here touching color white and we are going to rotate something like 9.5 i checked it it's perfect so now when we run this let me test that as you see we don't rotate why does this happen because here at the start we are now touching the color white so this repeat block will not be executed but what if we before that just as here we change our y by negative one here we change it by positive one all right so now let's try this and as you see we don't uh, make the perfect uh, 180 uh, 180 degrees circle just when just as when we do a normal jump in geometry dash but how can we round that up to be a hundred and eighty degrees circle i'm going to show you so we are going here after that to put a point in direction block and now we are going to use this round block so what does this round block do it will basically round the number so if you here put 1.24 that will be one. 1.16 uh, 
one, uh, 1.6 that will be 2 so it will uh, take the it will become the nearest uh, number or the nearest uh, number that hasn't got a decimal point so here we're going to put our current direction divided by 90 so our current direction is 153 this is 1.7 and now when you use this round we get 2 so we get a whole number and now after that you're going to multiply all that back by 90 and as you see now we have a perfect circle so that's a what direction we're going to get after a jump if i set our direction to something like this this is going to be our direction after a jump so we're going to point in that direction so now when we test our program as we see we can do is perfect jumps so everything works fine the next thing i want to do is to actually add some music into our geometry dash game because all geometry dash games have music and it makes them so guys make sure to save this project to your computer and save it as a copy so you know it's saved and now you can go to scratch home page all right oh it's bugging here i'm just getting here search but it doesn't matter so now i'm going to search for geometry dash music nice so here we have some music we can get we can get here i'm going to enter this project and now i can get any music i want uh, you can get any geometry dash music you want uh, let's see i want something else um all right this one i think has all of them so go into project you think uh, he has the best uh, music from geometry dash all right we have to hear another all right uh, i'm going to select press start so let's go inside Here we go this is press start here and now you should be uh signed sign in into scratch uh, so you can do this oh and you have this backpack here and you're going to drag this sound into this backpack all right now you can go to your stuff and i'm going to go back to this geometry dash project over here now we go here and click see inside and now we can go to sounds delete this meow sound and add our press start sound here and now we want to play the sound but uh, set i'm going to set volume to something lower so you can hear me in the video so I'm going to set volume to something like 15 and we're going to play sound press start until done. Make sure to put play sound uh, not, uh, uh, until done, not just start sound because it will not wait uh, to, uh, to finish this first sound if you put uh, start sound. So now, all right, now we have this press start music here that's really good i don't want it it's still too loud for me uh something like eight so you can hear me all right i'm going to try something like five you don't have to do that i'm just doing it uh, because uh, uh, you can hear me in the video And guys, we have a sound, so the next thing and last thing in this video I want to add 
and the, probably the best thing about geometry dash is actual level scrolling and we will add uh, that player dies if he touches a spike so here we have this level costume so what am i going to do is really simple i'm going to select here a square and put this fill and outline both to be without any color and now i'm going to create a rectangle like this all right so you can put it wherever you want so it's this is really important i will explain why later in this video so now i'm going to duplicate this sprite and this one is automatically named level two and here i'm going to add a spike so i'm going to select this black color and outline is going to be white but it's going to be not exactly white it's something yellow white so we can recognize if we are touching the spike not to the floor i'm going to create a square so hold shift while you're creating this square to make it a perfect square not a rectangle nice and now go here to this reshape tool and delete one corner of the square nice now i'm going to hold the shift while i'm rotating this so it rotates uh, 45 degrees uh, for each frame and i'm going to create this be a perfect spike and put it on the floor like that nice So now we are going to add level scrolling. This might look hard, but it's really simple. We're at the start going to hide this sprite. And we're going to use clones, just as we use the clones for the pipes in our Flappy Birds tutorial. We are going to do something similar, but we are not always going to create a new clone and delete it when it touches the end. But we are just going to have two clones that uh, that when they go to the left, they will go to the right part of the screen. So uh, and then we and then it will switch to the to the and then it will switch two levels. So we can get that illusion of our level rotating. All right. So let's create one clone. First of all, this one has to be switched to costume level one and now we want to go to the other side of the screen right side so we're going to change x by 480 this is this part of the screen that we don't see at the right and then we're going to go to the next costume and create another clone so now we have these two clones All right, let's write some code for these clones. So when I start as a clone, you're going to put a forever loop here. So it is going to go to the left. So th that clone is going to go to the left. So we're going to change X, as you know, by a negative number. Negative 10 is good. That is something like in real geometry dash. And now what we want to do is check if we are on the left side of the screen and then just move to the right side of the screen. All right, so now if uh, I'm going to go to operations here, if our X position is less than negative 480, we're going to move it by three uh, by two screens that is 960 and then that one that has uh, gone to the left side of the screen is going to go to the right side of the screen all right let's test this out uh, oh yeah i didn't uh, show the clone when we start using it so the clone is going to be shown and now we have this scrolling level but if we add 
another costume like level three. And I just add another spike here. That level will never appear. So we'll just repeat these two levels from the start. So just a second, I'm going to make this spike bigger like that i can delete this whole third level and make the third level like this so one spike is kind of smaller just like in geometry dash so now when we get to the right side of the screen we are going to change uh, change next two costumes because the next costume after the the costume when we were on the left side is this one here on the screen and that's the next costume and the next costume after that is two costumes for from here but except of repeating this two times we can just here put switch costume two and here we'll put costume number plus two so that will go forward to costumes and now let's check this out all right let's see what's back bugging here um oh yeah i have to put this here i'm sorry um all right everything works fine now but we want to move our player to the left uh, a little bit left on the screen so x is probably and we want to have y negative 36 at the start, so we don't fall at the start. And x is something neg about negative 100. Alright, this is like a real... But our player doesn't stop, uh, doesn't stop uh, the game when it touches the spike. And this is really simple to fix, so I'm just going to show the sprite and set it x position to zero so we can see the spike and now we're going to go to the player when the green flag is clicked we're going to wait until we touch this color so i'm going to go and click this button so we can check for the color here and this is that color i'm going to check again to make it sure like that okay that's that color and then we are going to stop all so we are going to stop this program and as you see the program stopped but we still want to see uh, the level over there so what we're going to do is after uh, is after this uh, so here uh, we're going to broadcast a message except uh, before stopping, like show level. Okay, and now here, when I receive show level, it's going to show. Nice, so let's try this. Uh, what's, what's the problem here? Um, All right, this is this might be a bug, but it doesn't really matter at all. So I'm just going to put it back here. It, uh, it's uh, um, it's uh, probably a bug. So okay. So guys, that was all of this video. If you liked it, I really hope you did. Uh, then like this video if you want to support me. You can share it with someone else who you think would like it. And if you want to get information when new video releases, you can subscribe. It also helps me a lot. And thank you everyone for 82 subscribers. And see you in next.